ask Tom on home show. Andy from Manville needs a little attic help. He'd like to see you in the attic right now, Tom. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm there. Let's go. He wants your advice up there anyway. He says, sure. do you recommend installing a radium berry in the attic? I mean, is it worth it? And if it is, why isn't it advertised more? That's a great question. Why isn't it advertised more? But I'm not going to start on that first because the rest of the question was very simple. Is it worth it? Yes. Is uh, uh, Does it work? Yes. Uh, I'm going to tell you about heat into a house in the Manville area, all through Texas, all through the South. Uh, 80% of the heat gain in the summertime in a house is through the attic. And the reason is, is because of the heater, which is the sun that uh, goes around the earth. <laughs> the sun is always beating on top of the roof. And so the heat wants to come through, right? It just makes sense. And that's why we get under the shade of an oak tree so the sun doesn't beat on us. It's the big heater. So 80% of the total heat gain from an attic is coming through there. And 80% of that is called radiation. It's radiant heat gain. You have convection, which hot air rises. That gets rid of moisture in the attic. It's still a form of heat. And then you have conduction, and that's where a hot and cold surface come together, and it conducts the, the heat into the house. That's why we put insulation on the floor of the attic, so that our value is a resistance of heat flow. It stops the heat flow from getting into the house, and it backs back out as the evening cools it off when it starts to peak out in the, in the, in the afternoon. But a radiant barrier will stop 80% of that 80%. It's the largest amount of heat that's coming through the attic. And that radiant barrier will keep it from, from coming in, about 90% of it. So it's just a common product that's been used in industry. It was even used on the lunar landers on the moon. So it's nothing that just came out of somebody's garage. This was uh, been in, in industrial use and whatnot for a long time. Now, why isn't it, it advertised? There's no sizzle. There's no sex appeal to it. It's a foil on the bottom of a piece of plywood that goes on a roof deck. So, you know, they're going to advertise appliances and windows and, and alarm systems and ring doorbells. They're going to give you all the bells and whistles, but it's just part of an insulation package. Mm -hmm. And so when you go to an architect or designer, they put the insulation package because they don't advertise fiberglass that much or, or uh, you know, things like that because it's just, you know, sheathing packages and stuff. It goes on the specifications of the of the project on the plans. And hopefully your architect or whoever is putting together your project for you will have that listed what you need in what parts of the country. And and it's one part of the three pieces, the three things you should, every attic should have in this part of the world anyway, right, Tom? Well, heat transfers in three ways. So the answer three is yes. Uh, you have radiation, you have conduction, you have convection. So we handle it in th with three different items and details. And each, each detail has an item. With radiant barrier, it is the foil on the bottom of the roof deck. With your convection, which is the hot air rising, which pulls the water out of the attic, you have ridge vents and soffit vents. So those are your products that make that happen. And then on the floor of the attic, I like formaldehyde-free fiberglass. You put that on the floor of the attic to stop the conductive heat that does build up in an attic. Everybody knows it's hot in the attic. Uh, it's going to stop it from uh, transferring into the inside of the home if you have enough there. So it stops it and then it backs it back out when it cools off in the evening. So those are the three ways, Charlie. Your answer is absolutely correct. And there's one way to get a good answer, and that is to go click on that blue ass Tom button at homeshoradio.com. Go ahead and fill out the form. Give us your question and maybe even send us a picture because a picture gives us a better idea of what's going on because we're not just answering for you. We're answering for everybody who may have these problems and we want to help everybody. And that's why we post a new one of these every day on the Home Show Radio YouTube channel and, of course, at homeshowradio.com.